I'm the king of swagways. You're not Jackie Chan. How do you know? Wait. I have a hunch. <laughs> to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight, we are joined by Ben from Northern TCG. Hello. And Blake from Blake Goes Face. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! gentlemen? Um, let's go, Blake. A little bit short. I played Master Duel. You did? I did. Wow. I, like, I like did the thing. Shit. Again, playing, sh- play? uh, playing shifty decks. Just playing fun, random decks. I was using one of Loz's Dark Magician ones. Just <laughs> for, like, fun. Uh, playing Klee's and playing some Drytron as well. And Drytron. Oh yeah, that's, a, su- I, that's I, a super fun deck that's yeah, definitely look, not meta at all. I actually played Drytron like, when it came out, so I was like, okay, I know what this does, I know what this is meant to do, I'll just play it. Um, it was like fun. Uh, definitely got bored of Drytron after like five games and then went... We actually anyway. discussed this at Locals tonight. It's been a year and a half and I still haven't read all the Drytron cards to be like, oh, this one does this. Neither have I. Yeah. <laughs> I won't lie to you, uh, neither have I. I was thinking about this the other day, and like Drytron falls into the same bracket. There's definitely archetypes that are super meta and they're really great, but then like half their archetype just doesn't get played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's oh, yeah. Just like I'm pretty sure Drytron have a counter trap. Zodiac had a field spell. Yeah, it did, what? but it wasn't searchable. Yeah, because it had the same problem as like the Magic Specter. What do you mean? Of course that... it is. No, it isn't. Terraforming. Not searchable <laughs> within the archetype. That's why terraforming went to one. So yeah, we can't over- have Zodiac having their field yeah. spell. They could overlay over the field spells. Well. No, no, it was from Mist Valley. It was from Mist Valley. You can't be searching Mist Valley. Yeah, no, too, too broken, too good. too good. But yes, um, other than that, uh, picking up some cards for Splite. Toad tings. Yes. Oh. oh, I have three toads. I went to the cube uh, because I have Paleo Frogs the built cube. in the cube. The cube. Um. And when you told me, <laughs> so I picked up one frog, like, sorry, I, I found one in of one because uh, I saw lists in the OCG playing Splite. We were on the last podcast I was on, you mentioned that it was we actually have three toad and it's just limited there. I bolted to the cube going, please, 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 please and I have another two toads there. See, I... I still don't think three toad will be played in that deck. It's probably excessive. I think yes. we play two toad. Yeah. Yeah. The issue is though, and this is obviously the biggest issue of this, um, I have two Mega Pack ones and one in of one, so if we play two Yeah. I don't know, Chief. You might be able to find someone who might swap you plus some cash or something. Yeah, that's fair. Um so yeah, other than that, uh picking up frog tings just in case. Uh and then we'll see how much that archetype costs when it comes out. Yeah, that's hmm. When does it come out again? It's like late September. July? Uh, September? No, uh, it's oh. August. It's second week in August. Yeah, oh, sorry, it is. You've penciled in for yes. the second week of yes. August, however... So it probably will be September. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, yeah. no, no. Oh, main set. Set. That's right. Main, main sets, sets don't Konami get delayed. doesn't delay main sets. Or ever. And it makes it sound like... You make it sound like they do it on purpose. I no, it, it is definitely on purpose. They definitely... Like, when they sit down and they're like, we only have enough production to make one set in this period... We prioritize the main set. Delayed because you're sets. right, the billion dollar company definitely uh, needs to prioritize what and just not print everything. Well, there's not enough trees, man. There isn't enough trees. The save world's the trees. burning. And the turtles. We need to save Brazil. <laughs> Hang on. So that we can turn into Yu Gi Oh cards. Yeah. <laughs> save Brazil. Save Brazil. Is there any Brazilians watching? I'm imagine, sorry. Imagine being B-tech. a Brazil Yu Gi Oh player. Yes. Having to wait three years to get promos imported to your country so that cards can become legal. When they're already existing. Yeah, when they're already there and they just got taken take overseas <laughs> to then be processed. Goodbye. Cowboy for game. We care for the environment. No. <laughs> Cowboy for game. We love Brazilians. We we'll, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Brazil's lovely. Mm-hmm. Nope. Good football uh, players. Oh, yes. Football. The best football I like players. the colour green on their flag. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> their money is pink. <laughs> this week. Um, ben, how was your week? Uh, well, this week was the week that Crack Flunder East finally decided to not be cracked. To be fair, my round one, uh, insane. I opened absurd both games. You're uh, versing Sword Soul, yeah? Yeah, against Sword Soul. Yeah. I won well... die roll, opened uh, standard combo, plus trap trick, uh, Harpy's Feather Storm, and the, the trap. So I hard opened three traps, map Robin up. And I was like, that's good. Game Bruh. two. One opened... in perm would have ended your life. I 
No, it's not though, you because we've to... established this. You just oh, skip just their skip turn yeah, and go so again. So here's the thing. Yeah, you, you map, you reveal the Robinar, you banish the Eaglin, you summon the Robinar, add back the Eaglin. Even if they negate that, you summon the Eaglin. If they negate that, then dumb. So even if both get negged, you're just like, cool, Storm. Did I win? <laughs> <laughs> we um, good? Yeah, so that was absurd. Yeah, my game two, my like game two of that match, I then like opened double evenly into he bricked and in Sword Soul had like four back row. Oops. It was, it was set four parts. Because right. he had like, he opened four spells and traps that weren't searchable, they were all disruption. And the six in hand. So he's just like set four pass. So not one of those was a sword soul. No, it, card. Was, it was like two. It was an imperm, two twin twisters, and then another random disruption. That's fucking awful. Yeah, and I was like, oh, he's my evenly matched. Oh, that feels bad. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, I also on my so when I started my turn, I'd open two evenlies, and then I top deck the D barrier because I don't side out D barrier against sides and sword soul. So I, opened, I top decked that and was like, oh, I'm going to break your board, set up my board, and then say no to you next turn. Um, and then I got completely abandoned for the rest of the night. So okay, round two, I only happen. opened big birds in both game one and game two, auto loss. And then in round three, uh, Jesse opened Ash, and I could only open Eaglin. And I was like, well, even if this Eaglin resolves, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, either way, you're like, mm, okay, it yeah. happens. And that was it. That was my night. That was an interesting you... list that Jesse was playing too. Um, What's he playing? He's played PK. something that I was thinking of playing a long time ago. It's PK, but you play the Predator Plant um, level threes, mm. so, so you can fusions. search DPE and still do Scythe combo. Oh, you yeah. can search fusions, uh, fusion sub with yeah, the yeah. Predator Plant. Fusion, fusion yeah. Destiny. Oh, fusion Destiny. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah it's like cute. I've thought about that multiple times. I've wanted to do it, but I just can't be fucked. It's, it's also just still full combo because you just go into the Cherubini and go boo boo. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like it just does everything else anyway. Yeah. It's quite good. Um, I beat him though. Um, so, anything else to mention for your week? No, my Sunday was fine. I went next one. No Master Duel nonsense? Oh, I played lots of Master Duel. Lots of Master Duel. Lots and lots of Master Duel. You have been playing it a lot since you put it on your phone. I just keep losing <laughs> in like Diamond 4. For Diamond some... 4 is a yeah. particularly annoying bracket to I sit in. I hit Diamond 4, and for some reason, every opponent opens Maxi and Mash. So I do one thing, get Ashed. I'm like, okay. okay, I can still play Maxi. And then I'm like, well, I know when you top deck the third hand trap, I can't play through that, so I'm just going to screw you. It does feel bad. Yeah. But yeah, I've had a similar thing with Master Duel for a long time. Um, so, yeah, we're sitting in uh, Diamond 4... Um, played a heap of the um, Limit 1 Festival, mainly because I just wanted oh, the, the free gems. Yeah. Um, but, then I got up to, but then I got up to the point where it starts giving you packs, and I'm like, I've had enough of this. Uh, because if another person sucks a fucking a one of Ash Blossom in their 60-card fucking cluster fuck, crap, I'm going yeah. to fucking scream. Yeah. I had one guy... It was, I had screenshot it. I was supposed to send it to the group chat. I might put it up down below if I remember to do this in the card. Bless you. Um, opened in his 40-card list... I went first, did the standard... I was playing PK... This goes where Abyss. I think it does. I will, I will rage. Okay, so I was playing PK Burning Abyss. Okay. My opponent opened the one-of... Well, every card's a one-of. <laughs> but these are one-ofs <laughs> in actual format, kind of. Well, Regeki's not a one-of anymore. Opened Regeki to out my IP Mask Arena, plus I was going to fucking throw back Dingyasu and shit. He Regeki's me, and I'm like, it's okay. It's fine. I can still summon back my ding and send something. Then he harpies feather dusters me. I'm like, it's okay. Okay. Bring back the ding, it's reattach fine. the thing. Yeah, I can still do things. Call by the graves the ding gear suit. Fuck! I'm like, <laughs> okay. It's okay. He probably he didn't has open else. any more one offs. He's only got three Activates cards reinforcement of the army. <laughs> I'm like, cool. That's full combo for you. Good work. <laughs> Okay, it didn't go quite where I thought it was, but yeah, that is a fucking cracked hand. Uh, what I always found, and I don't know how they've managed this, any time that someone was playing Sword Soul, they would open three hand traps, Mo Yi, and any other worm. Oh, and that's yeah. just everything. I also kept running into the thing of like playing Sword Soul players that are just open full Sword Soul combo, and they'd be like, ha ha, fractal. <laughs> <laughs> it was dumb. What? Yeah. They'd go like, Mo Yi, 
reveal a worm, do like their standard combo, and like go Baron Chi Zhao, and then be like, Fractal. And then also just still have the other Tri Brigade to then summon the Keras. And you're like, mm, thanks. Yeah. This thanks. happened like at least four times. <laughs> thanks. That. Because they were just like playing the best. They pretty much probably just searched what is meta in Master Duel. And, just, and just... put all the engines into one deck. <laughs> then played one match where they started doing Drytron things and then tried to do something else. Like, yeah. mm, that doesn't work. That's literally that. like <laughs> a monkey no, 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 symbols no, 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 no. toy that's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't see a lot of like fun variations of decks. It was like no. a lot of the same. A lot of um, Orcus things, um, which in fairness I was playing as well. Um, I... <sighs> I triggered myself so badly when I was playing. I um, was versing one of those Sword Soul bolt boards, and I, I managed to bait out the first negate. I think the Baron negate with just normal summon else. No, sorry, I lie. Um, what it was was um, Speedroid, and he just had Crystal Wing. Yeah. Like, because he tried to do something else, but he was locked out because he thought a card wasn't condition, uh, an effect, but it's a condition. So he couldn't do a Baron summon. So okay, I was like, okay. ah, you're an idiot. Okay. Um, so summon else, I guess, negate. Cool. Have like two dangers in hand, do the thing. Um, I go uh, branded opening, pitch Orcus Nightmare, um, no, Orcus Harp, summon thing, search the stuff, um, go to do Orcus things. Um, not remembering that branded opening locks you into fusion. So I just had, I think it was like a, um, a symbol skeleton and a Mech Knight Gisu on the board. And I was like, hmm, did you do it's that? It's not letting me leave. Yeah, I was going to say, did you do that thing where you were like, Looking click, at your book, yeah, like, click, click, click. hang on, yeah, it's like, why is my oh, extra deck? There you go, the Master Duel's broken, that's what's going on. Oh no, I'm stupid as fuck, yeah, got it, yeah, right. yeah. I just got super greedy because I had branded opening and um, tragedy in hand, and tragedy. I was um, summoning dangers and shift from deck, so I was like, oh yeah, just thin the deck, do the thing, blah 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 blah. No, that was real dumb. Like, I probably could have played it out, but I was actually so embarrassed by my stupidity <laughs> that I quit. <laughs> Shane, conceding is Shane conceding is completely fine. Tonight, when I was at Locals, before we were waiting for Locals to start, I was playing Master Duel and a couple of other guys were watching. And a guy just Shane conceded when he would have won. Good. He was playing Tri Brigade, and like, he made fucking an Appaloosa oh, that's right. with yeah, yeah, three. Yeah. Appaloosa with three negates, more than enough to stop Gemini FTK. Uh, and then he added off the Bear Brom, but it had no cards in hand, so I had to put the card back. Back and he's like, I scoop and quit, and I'm like, that Appaloosa was enough to win this game. Yeah, don't worry, sure. yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, um, last last thing before we leave you on before we leave the one on festival. Oh, Every yes. time you summoned Orbital Hydrolander, did you say Orbital Hydrolander? Uh, see, here's the thing, I did not play Orbital Hydrolander. Why did you not I play am... Orbital Hydrolander? <laughs> Bro, there was a point where I wasn't even playing um fucking um like Harp Horror. Like, I didn't have IP in my extra deck. Like, I literally slapped shit in, hoping it would work. I started with Unchained in the deck, which worked really well once. <laughs> you were like, this was great, but I'm removing all of it. Pretty much, because, like, in the, the deck, like the Unchained deck, you have recursion because they float yeah, into yeah. each other. What I didn't consider is that in a one-off festival, you have no recursion. No. Once they die, they are gone. That's it, that's it, yeah. <laughs> so I felt really Yang dumb Zing. for putting that in. Big Yang Zing energy. I've fought a few Yang Zing Sword Soul players. Fought. Yes. Dueled. Fought. No. I, I Battled. tracked them down and killed them. Battle. Um, 1v1. But yeah, the one-off festival is now over. Mm. Um, and I think we're like two days away from the ladder resetting. Three days? See. A lot of resets, fuck. Yeah, you gotta get up then. Oh, no, uh, not really, you're already a diamond. I have you're already the diamond. It. But I wanna be diamond one. You just gotta do better. Yeah, no. Um, diamond Uno. Uh, as for my week in New Year, um, so I was very excited uh, to finally I have all the cards that I needed to play Agents. Um, what I've come to the realization of is that they do a lot to do not very much. They expend a lot of resources in order to set up the same board that most other decks can do off of one to two cards. It makes me very sad because I was very excited to play this deck and I'm glad that I did because it did the thing. Cool. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's maybe not the format for them. Did we go through the whole arc of like you ordering them from Nikijo, you not getting them? Oh, people have been hearing about this deck for months. Like, yeah, like you forgetting the deck and leaving it at home so you couldn't play the whole thing. 
to you finally realizing that it's kind of subpar, and you're like, mm, that makes like, me sad. It's competent in what it does, and it for the, if I built it properly, it'd probably be more consistent than it was. But like I said, it just does a whole heap of shit, throws so much shit at the board to just end on side combo. I feel like we've let you down here. I feel like we should have bullied you out of this before this. He was point. trying. I tried. He was yeah. trying real hard. I've been trying for months. Like I, look, I really was... feel like we've let you down. Look, it, at so the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm still happy that I played it. I still got to Ooh. relive just a smidgen of my like first archetypal deck in the entire game, and I have it so that if format changes or new cards get released that make it better, I can always go back to it. It costs me thirty dollars. Like What's that Agent Spider months. thing? You can play that. Are they level twos? Mm. Means I've the, ball is. the the balls are and the um, agent of creation. Oh. No, not creation. The other one, uh, mystery. Mm. Um, is that the tuna? Yes. Uh, when Jake played me, he summoned the tuna and then used it to make oh, a dagger, that, and I was that, like, "That was meant to be a Hulk." You make it. No, no, I'd already done the dagger. What I did is just link it into a meaningless fairy that I could have done after I did that. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh. Ah. It made me very sad because, like, he was playing Pendulum. If I got Scythe combo off, his turn was done. Yeah, but I just did Vlad dumb, um, and yeah, tragedy. Anyway, but that was the thing. Um, moved off that back to branded. Uh, ended up in the finals tonight. Um, Theri, no, not Therion. Yeah, Therion. Yeah, Therion. Therion can fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. specifically their field spell can fuck off. The negate <laughs> is one thing. That, the field spell uh, is like hard insulation for the deck. Like it's. Fucked. I have to go check what this. Is. So it adds on summon, sure. Adds what field spell doesn't? Yeah. Um, activation. Yeah. And then it. Loop. Yeah. So if something would be destroyed by battle, they send a Therion card from deck to protect it. And then if anything's destroyed by battle, add a Therion from grave back to hand. Okay. Yeah. You can't get rid of them. I opened Dark Ruler twice. Against these monster boards. I couldn't do a fucking thing because of the oh, goddamn this thing. field Yeah, card. I just need to see the, the, the artwork. Yeah, this thing. Yeah, fuck that yeah. thing. Oh, okay. So, as of the next locals that I attend, assuming Harry's there, because he's the only one playing the deck currently, I will have Cosmic Cyclones. I will get rid of that field spell. I will be able to play. <laughs> yeah, fair. Let me play. I don't know what I'm playing next week. I'll figure that out. Oh, you, you did one one failed locals Ooh, and you ditch and crack flunder. Well, I keep looking at crack, crack flunder and every crack. time I have to go take it to locals, I'm like, oh, well, it worked last time. And I take it to locals and it works again. Tonight I took it to locals and it just didn't work. So I'm like, oh, do I take it again? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. That'll be me next week. I'll be like, then oh. because Because it does actually require very little thought. So <laughs> No, really? Like, but it's just fun then. Then you just yeah. get to have fun being like, no turn. Also no turn. It's but what if just turn? Funny. Yeah, yeah, exactly it's just right. Yes, funny. yes. It's been like, actually, I'm gonna go again. All right, cool. No problem. Let's... You stop me. Oh, there's an eagle still on the board, so I'm gonna go again. Yeah. I'm just gonna draw a card. You know when you get down <laughs> to two people in Uno and you go skip, ha ha, skip. Oh, reverse back to me. Yeah, that's literally what it is. Yeah, it does feel a bit like that. Um, that does bring us to news, though. It does bring us to news. The news. Um, and after some. Uh, Thorough searching, we have found some news. Um, there was so news. there was several. Um, you sh- you didn't even look. Fuck you. You're like, is there anything on YG organization? No, it's all fucking rush tools. Go fuck yourself. Didn't anyway, Splite, yeah, like, uh, Splite and uh, is like not the majority of meta now in OCG. Cool. There you go. That's my news contribution. Yeah, no, it's well, yeah. When it's you still get, up there. when your main negate gets fucking it, it's, wiped it's, out, it, it's a good percent. It's it, like a, it's like, still like. Th- Second, yeah, it's to... still the second most represented, but tier elements ba- like they basically did a swap. Yeah, okay, I haven't looked at uh, <laughs> it's like Road of the King. Died it's, like, just like it's like 40 40, I think. No, I haven't looked at Road of the King yet. Just um, realistically, that's the only one that I acknowledge. So, yeah, we do have uh, three major tournaments that have been held over the last sort of week and a half. Um, no, nah, never mind, they swapped. We've just, we've just oh, mis- yeah. we've misinformed everybody. Root of the King. Uh, Splite is 38.5, Terra, Terra Elements is 25. So, yeah. Anyway. Root of the King. Always Sorry. pay attention to only uh, Root of the King. Fake news. Um, so, yeah, we had the Italian Nationals. Uh, we had the. Um, I think it's South America. It has whatever that is. Alamon? Yeah, whatever. Huh? I don't know what that is. It says. Oh, we're so stupid. That says. We're so oh, stupid. German, Jake. 
Well, no, down... we're so fucking dumb. Oh, because no, I took the screenshot of the different bit. That's yeah, we're dumb. Um, oh, that yeah, that's why. Because here it says... Nacional. Italia? Yeah, and then there it says that. Yes. So yeah, I just didn't read up here, so that's fine. So Italian, German, and United Kingdom all had their nationals. Um, we have the deck breakdowns as well as who won. So in Italy, we had 20 Branded Despia, 11 Sword Soul Tenyi, 13 Punk Adventurer, uh, 3 with Therion Engine, 7... This is top one, 64, sorry. This is top 64. Okay, cool. uh, 7 Flunder, uh, 3 Salad, 2 Dragon Link, 2 Eldritch, 2 Marincess, 2 Sky Striker, and 2 Otros. Yes, two Otros. Explain to me what Otros is. Other. <laughs> it could well be other. Yeah. It, is, it is other. Yeah. It is other. Oh, their Nosot- thing for other is... <laughs> no, Nosotros? Their thing for other is just a picture of Ghost Bell. Sure. For reasons. Yeah, women. Um, and the winner of the Italian uh, nationals was the Fluanderies. Um... From I'm embracing see, my Italian side again, guys. It's a pretty standard list. Uh, three Dark Wall and No More, three Mystic Mine, uh, king. three of the Feather oh, Storm in the main. Um, he's king and only one two because this dude's a fraud. Doesn't everyone play one two? Yeah, but you should play three. <laughs> <laughs> um, one one M pen's fairly interesting. I like, was playing one M pen for the longest time. Nah. Now I'm back on two. Yep. Because it works better than Crack Crack Wonder. Um, and Clacked yeah. Thunder again, brother. Clacked. <laughs> it's clacked. Um, uh, yeah, and nothing remarkable on the side. Uh, why is there three MSD in this dude's side deck? Because we only Don't need to get rid of one spell. Go to the discard? Huh? Don't well, discard you say that, but he's also got two Twin Twister. <laughs> yeah. Cyclone? No Cyclone? No losing in time, I guess? Are we back playing MST? MST pop I mean, back maybe he was... Why would you not Cosmic? Maybe he yeah, was... I, that, This is what I'm asking. MST pop back row. Maybe he was playing the Ghost Rares. So they... Stage True. He could ju- yeah. He could just be playing nice rarities that he likes. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all some king pretty uh, standard. Then we move on to uh, the UK. Uh, the top sixty-four is as follows: eighteen Punk Adventurer, two with Therion, uh, ten Sword Soul, eight Branded Despia, one a Hero variant. Interesting. Uh, five Elich, four Florandry, four Drytron, three Dragon Link, uh, which I again. Oh, so two ABC, which I assume would be with Therion, yeah. Earth Machine, which is definitely with Therion, and eight other. And this time it is Ghost Ogre. Yeah. Just, just circulating through the hand trap. Did it say other this time? No, it said Otros. Nos. Why am I thinking of Nos? Uh, and then the winner of the UK was Drytron. Yes. Um, with two Venten, um, because freshly unlimited. Um, it's playing uh, Majesty's. Vanity's ruler. Vanity's ruler. That's the one. Vanity uh, Vanity ruler. No, no, ruler. Uh, ruler was searchable in that deck. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. only playing the one Herald of Warren's Light, which I find weird. Um, That's not searchable. It's fine. It is searchable. Prove it. <laughs> is it a fairy? Have you read any of those cards? Yes, I've read all of them. I doubt that. I know what each of these cards does. Mm, I doubt that. Mm, you well, can test me on it, but we don't have time. What's Beta do? Hmm? Uh, Beta reveals one and then draws one. That's it? Delta. <laughs> you don't know what they are to confirm it. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's we Delta. Really had this discussion. <laughs> yeah, um, sorry. Yeah. Um, set rotation Beta, in the main is also interesting. Search so the ritual. I get through Mystic Mind. What? Well, yeah, true. Even yeah. though they play Mystic Mind. Well, yeah, he's playing two Mystic Mind and uh, how many of his own field spell? Two of his own field spell. Um, give them the the Dratron card. Um, he's also on the uh, zombie world um, thing in the extra deck. Um, <laughs> uh, Dark Wall and Leave us all. alone. Uh, the Magic Key Counter Trap, which I think is good in that combo if you do that. Um, Leave us alone. Yeah, all, again, pretty standard stuff. It's interesting, though. Uh, and then lastly, we have the, the uh, Germans. German Nationals, uh, which is 8 Punk Adventurer, 2 Therion, 2 Eldritch. That says 18, but sure, Chief. Oh, what did I say? Eight. eight. Yeah, add ten. Um, Seventeen, Sword Soul Tenyi. Eight, Brenda Despia. One, Predator Plant Variant. Um, five, Florandry. Three, Drytron. Three, Dragon Link. Two, Sky Striker. And eight other. This eight time, Ultros. Ash Blossom. Wait, they are, like, just cycling hand traps, huh? Uh-huh. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, and the winner of the German Nationals. Uh, where are we? It was Therian Ponk. Ponk? Yes, it was. Uh, here we go. Uh, fuck you. Um... I this wouldn't. shit aids. It's it's a relatively stock standard list. 
Yeah, it doesn't... Yeah. Well, it's playing Tactics in the main, which is interesting. I haven't seen anyone playing Tactics. It's also playing a Therian Trap, um, which I wasn't Therian aware. Therian Cross, it's decent. Yeah, it's like a destruction thing, right? I think so. Yeah. Um, Red Reboot, Token Collector. For some reason, he's siding Skylight um, Archfiend. I suppose if going second, burning time. Haha, <laughs> you lose. That is... Yeah, that's probably it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. That's probably just straight up it. Um, so I guess this is like another example of why you can't take the OCG as a direct translation of the TCG. Because at this point in the OCG, it was just branded all the time. Branded won everything. Here, branded is not to be seen at first place in any of these. I don't even think it was second place in any of these. Everyone's also like had a lot more time to adjust to what branded was going to come in and do. Yeah, that and... that's a good point too. Like we saw what it did in the OCG, so we had yeah. enough time to like, learn what it did rather interesting as well because like sword sold never went away for us we are just like hard taking responses that just happen to respond to both decks oh true like, yeah the barrier the, stops the... both of them yep and everyone's playing the barrier yeah if they could stop that that'd be great nah it'd be very good yeah it's we're just in a situation where it came in and because other stuff hadn't been hit that stuff also is very competitive against branded so like Sword Soul does clean up a lot of branded stuff, but just mm. naturally other decks that play those counters counter both. They kill each other, and then the other stuff just comes through and cleans it up. So you don't have branded just kind of sitting over the top of everything yeah. going, ah. Yeah. yeah, those two decks fight each other, and then all the other decks go, oh, I'm just going to pick off the remainder. Also, well, so they really didn't do that Dragoon that. thing, huh? Yeah, not one... Actually, no, there was one list that I saw that topped at some point that was doing the Dragoon combo. Yeah. I think the the problem is that because it's using Albion and you're banishing stuff, it, like... You go hard on egg. Yeah, it's a neg right. on resources it's, it's a, to I'm set up. throw everything just to make a Dragoon that yeah. realistically can get outed by a couple things, so yeah. it's like... You're then, like, also discarding cards from your hand. So yeah. you have zero follow-up. Yeah. Yeah, it's in terms of resource management which is really important in that deck it's really not viable and yeah. then in a mirror match you're just asking to be super polyed yeah yeah true yeah very true um so yeah that uh concludes that part of the news um moving on to uh an exclusive car that's been announced for the tcg sure. um which is uh goatee of the deep beyond uh goatee translating to fish um, Le fish. fish of the deep beyond uh level 10 water fish synchro effect Okay. Uh, attack question mark you know this card defend yeah. zero Probably. yes it's the thing we were desperately trying to summon off turn it's stuffish yeah, yeah yes yeah, yeah, we figured it out it's DNA surgery and Christians <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, sure, it, well I'll get onto that in a second so um, yeah it's basically um, I can't remember what it's fucking called um, what's the banishy link thing called fucking it's zero Boris yes it's zero Boris but synchro, synchro. Um, except it gains um 500 for every banished monster as opposed to just 200 for every banished thing but it doesn't also have a starting stat so yeah it yeah. also doesn't yeah. count face down <laughs> yeah it has to, it has yeah, to be, it has face to be a monster right, um so. yeah so and it has to be banished from the monster zone uh comes back during the standby phase which is what our um what zero boss was meant to say to start with i had to errata it to fix that i wonder if the translation will say main monster zone or Oh, yeah. Well, at the, mo yeah, at the moment, it just says from the monsters. Oh, it was a TCG exclusive, so it doesn't need to be translated. So we move. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, on its own, this seems like a garbage card. But because it's a TCG exclusive, and they were saying that they were bringing out a new archetype based on an unexpected type, maybe it's, synchro? Maybe it's a fish synchro deck. Mm. Fish. Which water? would actually be good, because there's a decent amount of water synchro sort of Nonsense, stuff sorry. that hasn't really water been also utilized. It has like a lot Sukiomi. of easy searchable. Mm -hmm. And a lot of recovery mm -hmm. and a lot of draw. So, it's do have Coral yours. Dragon. Coral Dragon. Uh, Suk. Suk. Coral Dragon's not a fish. So. It's a big fish. Is it a fish or is it a sea It's not a fish. It's definitely it a dragon. A dragon but, uh, yeah, true. but it's just. Dragons are just big fish is in the even, sky. Is it even a dragon or is it a sea serpent? I think it's a sea serpent. Look, all we know is this card is not. You can't use it its effect. It, oh. Its effect just doesn't work. Dragons are just big fish in the sky. Um, oh, the good news is though, it's an if not a when. <laughs> so it doesn't miss timing. It does not miss timing. So, which it's like, an effect that you can't technically use. 
But it doesn't miss timing if you do manage to DNA surgery. If you yeah. put in, in the Christian effort, Roman. you're not going to get fucked over the by the effort. fact that someone's yeah. been, like, chained something to... Chain, chain MST. Ooh. <laughs> Activate MST on your DNA MST, surgery. Pop, huh. pop your Put fish. DNA surgery. Synchro something. It's level 10. That's just seven back. <laughs> <laughs> Night beam, target back row. Activate push run effect. Chain DNA surgery. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, hopefully there'll be some utility to this thing. Cause... No, I don't want to see it, thanks. I'm not going to lie to you. Don't summon this shit. Go away. I think it's not generic enough. There's just not enough good synchro fish support. At the moment. It's legal because I'm fairly sure the good one is banned. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, Fishborg is definitely banned. Yeah. In well, w. one of them. There's three. Um,. Yeah. Hopefully there's an archetype around it, otherwise it's kind of just... Um, I like TCG actually, exclusive cards, though. That's fun. I'm fairly sure that 20% of fish tuners are banned. That is a number. Um, because there there's five, five of them, and, there's and one, one is banned. banned. Yeah, okay. it, there are, it could be six, at which point I'm not that far off of my math. There are two other ones that aren't tuners, but they are. What? Um, they get reborn effects, and if you reborn them, they become tuners. Eh, bruh. Yeah, doesn't, they go. Doesn't they count. turn from salmon to tuna. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not paying it. I don't care. I'm not um, it. <laughs> moving on to product news, we have uh, Legendary Yay. Duelist Season Three, uh, which has been h- highly anticipated by this... many players um, until they know. reprinted all the Was stuff that already. Sarcasm, Jake? Because I think even in. Be- even that, even though the fact they've reprinted all this stuff already, all this stuff's still really expensive. <laughs> yeah, look, kind of. Do we have rarities? Uh, yes. yes. Yes, we do. That'll be important because there's Ooh. a bunch of goat stuff in here. Yeah, like uh, Ultra Rare Sangan. Cool. Eh. Although it'll probably be a Coloured Rare. No, it'll probably do this. Oh yeah, that too. It will uh, Lego. It took me a hand. minute to process what you were trying well, to do. Well, I'm doing the hand that Lego dudes have, but that's exactly what Yu-Gi-Oh cards do when they're ultras now. So true. Uh, we've got Destiny board support being reprinted. Uh, exactly the synchro stuff being reprinted, like <laughs> the um, sun and moon <laughs> dragon thingies. Yeah. Um, whatever the fuck they are. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Um, um, oh, my brain's broken. My brain's Jagen. broken. I saw the Destiny board stuff, and all I remember was people doing anal. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute children. <laughs> uh, the Predator Plan stuff's getting reprinted, which is actually really good because the Predator Plan yeah, DSBR yeah. stuff yeah. is actually decent. Except, Jake, there's the small problem of we had a bunch of it to sell and we never sold it. Damn. That's okay. It'll still be higher rarity than this stuff. Except for that one. Magician <laughs> Rod! Um, yeah, bunch of magician stuff as well. Um, like the Dark Magician's Fusion, which was oh, a super important. chase card um, for the card. seven that's Dark Magician Star players. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that did get a start. Oh, no, I did sell my Dark Magicians. Okay. Good. 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 Uh, what else we got? Do, uh, magician uh, Souls. Magician Souls? Yeah, is the Souls. biggest talking Big point coming out of this. Um, it is not a pack insert secret, it is an inset ultra. Meaning there will be four variants of that card. Or is it just one three is in this blue, set? One is it's green, blue, red, and one gold. is purple. No, I think they're just doing blue, red, and gold. Yeah, for no, this. Black, fine. Yeah. Sure. Still not ideal. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that'll be interesting It'll give people to access to it because the, the reprint was already still expensive. So. Yeah. I think this will make it a $20 card. Like, yeah. At least that version because the blue rarity will, yeah. and the red rarity will just be yeah. like in the bin. Yeah, cool. uh, we've also got a hero support as well. Yo, uh, the dog food. Yeah, yeah. Um, also got sun like sunrise or whatever it's called. Um, Gaga Gaga support that no one gives a shit about. Um, more synchro stuff. Um, and we also get no, that's not what I thought it was. We also get uh, the four retrains of classic cards, um, like the one that's mystical elf, the one that's Kaiser dragon, oh, uh, the one that's the Harpy's pet dragon. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're okay for the nope. archetypes they're in. The the harpies. Dragon is actually okay. It's just a free summon if you control a wind monster. I remember the mystical elf like not being horrid, but still being horrid. Yeah, it has to do with normal cards. It's like if a normal it's card a battles, card. well, it's normal. It's a blue eyes card. It has blue eyes in it. Actually, I think the thing with this one is it has blue eyes in the artwork, but it works better in Dark Magician because it's a spellcaster. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like decent reprints and stuff. Like it's not going to be a set to 
go out and buy because there's nothing in here that's like going to be oh wow this is going to be like there's no droplets equivalent in this set yeah. yeah so it's more like you buy the singles so you well, can actually play the card you've been waiting for it's still Magician of Souls to budget players they will still crack the set open for Magician of Souls yeah if well, those budget same... players they should buy the singles because it'll be cheaper but those but same budget players will <laughs> also be chasing all the hero stuff because it's yeah. anime bait this, this is essentially making anime bait cheaper which yeah. is good for you yeah. in yeah. my opinion Reprinting anime bait is good for you. It drives product sales. Yeah, yeah. As long as like, it's it's funny that my brain doesn't want it because I know the ultras will bend. Like, if they were like, if you put them in sleeves, they don't bend. Oh, also, we need to apologize. You know, now that you've moved houses, yeah, you won't experience this as bad because you're no longer living on an oceanfront property. That's fucking humid as shit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Also, leaving my cards at it's the okay, car Jake. didn't help. You're like. Further from the ocean. Yeah. Don't leave your cards in the car, seriously, especially in humid seriously. countries. Yep. It just, it does this to cards. But, it's anime bait, which I'm fine with. I like GX, as we have discussed. Um, but, you know. We will not discuss my opinions of GX. Listen, it's <laughs> okay again. to go No, no, from... no, we're not talking about that. We're talking about questions. Oh, I was going to talk it's... about the class-based system that they introduced in Yu-Gi-Oh! to make it a metaphor for the class-based system in life. Is that because the whites are always there? The cheering? Because the reds have to live in poverty. Because they're shit duelists. You live in poverty. That's literally what they did. If we could stop talking about colours. You eat slush. Ever. Um, anyway, moving on to podcast questions. Uh, we do have a Discord. Um, if you haven't already, jump down below. There is a link to join. Cool bunch of lads. Uh, duels going on occasion. Bit of a chat. And you can ask us questions such as Crobat5. Oi, shout out Crobat me. <laughs> um, his question this week I have a deck building question how do you know whether to side or main cards like D-Barrier, Scythe, Droplets, Imperm, etc that's a good that's actually a decent question it is a decent question he asks good questions I'm sorry go back I was still chuckling at that time four weeks ago when Brad comes sprinting out his <laughs> go, Crobat V did you say Crobat um, V <laughs> uh when to include things in main or side yeah how do so, you decide whether a card is a main deck card or a side deck card how much space do you have yeah, that so a big yeah. factor. The, the big factor for me is like what your deck is trying to do. If your deck is going second, don't put in going first cards. Yeah, uh, we, we discussed this before about like doing one thing 100% versus doing a bunch of things 50% and then kind of sucking. Flunders, because it's the deck I know the best, uh, I will say you have a bunch of flex spots and I like to call it like, we call them flex spots where like... You have 12 cards of yeah. flex. If you have a deck that um, runs super well off one or two cards like Flanders do, you have room to play really big traps or um, going second cards if you want to build the cracked version. Yeah. Work out what your flex spots are. Work out what the meta is. What are the good cards against it? Are you going first or second? And then put cards in. Yeah. And then the other thing is too is how the deck functions, whether it is a uh, heavy resource, uh, whether you need to put in... Uh, more extenders because it's vulnerable to hand traps or whether you can put in your own hand traps because you're a one to two card combo deck and everything's okay. searchable do keep in mind if you're playing a three to a two to three card combo deck stuff like twin twisters is just not an option for you do not do that yeah, anything that cards. requires you to discard for some kind of effect maybe just don't play them because you do require them in your combos like worst thing could be if you open like a sword soul with a bunch of stuff that says discard it doesn't, kinda, work. doesn't work like there that. are some decks that want stuff in the grave so go for yeah. it if um, you're playing um, BA, yeah like, ample like, like one card engine decks like old prank kids yeah old prank kids we to say that um yeah one card engine deck you can play literally anything you want yeah you just need to open one prank kid you can play whatever interruption you need to outside of that what makes the majority of meta decks meta in i'd say over the last three years is is this deck's engine under 25 cards? And if the answer is yes, and that engine is good, the deck will be good. Because yep. you have those flex spots. You can fill out with whatever you need to, either going first, going second. Happy days. You can make your decisions from there. I would say as well as that is the access to whatever it is that the combo is trying to achieve. And I've felt like the ones that are super generic and just use whatever's in the main deck to achieve whatever's in the extra deck have been the most consistent. Yes. So, um, like, and it got hit immediately that um, 60 card, um, what do they call it? Based. Based. The yep. base deck got hit immediately because 
literally it was just a bunch of monsters that all did the same thing from over here. Yeah. They didn't care what these yeah. were yeah. as long as it got to these. Yeah. It was... A lot of it is... What, what is over here just can be generic to get you to what's over here and this can then get you to more specific stuff from back over here. Yeah. Yeah. And then that way... As well, it's just meta... Uh, judging your meta, what are you going to see most? What hurts yeah. them the most? There are a bunch of just... As, as betters abused... There are a bunch of one card turn skips um, can be good depending on how you want to use them, but also you don't want to be seeing like four of them and then being like, ah, oh, no engine, sorry, goodbye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So hopefully that comprehensively answers your question. Obviously, with siding, it depends on what you're versing. Yeah. yeah. Um, Always tailor to your locals. Don't look at deck lists online and be like, yes, the hand trap line in this is correct. Yes. yes. There are specific situations like playing stuff like Medolce where the deck list is probably correct, but 95% of the time when you look at the hand trap lineups that you see and stuff that you want to build, change it. Change it to whatever you're going to be playing because those players may not play against the guy that shows up playing Melodious and then you don't have an out. Yeah. Yeah, and I had that instance tonight when I was putting back together um, Despia Branded. Um, I d looked at one of the most recent topping lists and the like the main deck of it just wasn't it wasn't correct for the locals that I was going to be playing. So I was like, I'll just play the list that I was before, change up the side a little bit, and it'll be fine. And it was, for the most part. Fuck you. There we go. Also, um, randomly, I got asked this question once or twice, and I completely understand asking the question. It's very important, but you have to work it out what to side uh in certain matchups just work like you have to work that out for your deck yeah you can write notes about like what deck what cards come out against what decks but asking and like see so i don't have the room like i don't think anybody has the room in their brain to know a bunch of different decks and like what cards are going to come out of that list to side yeah. in it's just especially your when deck. you don't off the top of your head know the list yeah and you don't know the side deck like for example we'll just go crack flunder Cracked Flunder plays nine trap cards that at any time can come out of the deck. And if you need to go, if you need to switch up your matchups, the other 15 cards in the side deck say go second in different situations. And you just go switch, switch, done. Have that figured out before you get to locals. I am really bad for that where I'll sit down and I'll be like, before locals, I'll be like, in this matchup, I'm switching this in. Get to locals and be like, what if I try this? What if I didn't? Yeah, fair. Um, yeah, and for some decks that's a lot easier than others. Um, like Crack Flunder is very um, simple, and uh, yeah, it's super simple. Uh, Despia, on the other hand, is really hard. I kind of had my Despia down to a formula where I was siding, where I was a lot of three orbs that weren't necessarily needing to be three orbs. I could slim. That's what I've gotten to at the, this point that's as well. I'm like, cards. okay, well that like these cards effectively become these cards, so. Yeah. As long as I open some level of these, it should be fine. So I yeah. can take out X amount and it should still be fine. Like, mm. I will side out a Foolish Burial. Because Foolish Burial is a win more card. Yeah. That deck. And if you're siding it in for a card that will have a huge impact on the game. Yep. Yeah. I kept in my Foolish. And I got the Foolish of the Zombie. I know, I saw. <laughs> this is the reason why I popped in my head. Because yeah. I knew you were playing Foolish. Yeah. And like most of the time that does come out. But I'm like, if I can still activate Branded Fusion and get something other than... Um, zombie bitch to the graveyard yeah, yeah, all the yeah. better yeah um, yeah so again hopefully that answers your question for this week please keep them coming because you and you have great questions uh, Paul I'm Pelican five, Wait, big up Paul Pelican uh, Paul asks if you had to pick a person to help you prepare for a big event who would you choose and why Marcelo Barberi that not was immediate. Not no, a joke. If you I pick think... Marcelo, you don't yeah. know which house he wants you to be <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say something like, about um, his house. It's a I terrible just, choice. Uh, because I think... Uh, <laughs> what if you show up to his house in Italy and he's in France? <laughs> it's fine. It's a $20 plane. It's okay. Did you know says, that he had you? Yes. Did you know at all? Did you factor it in? That you showed up to the wrong house? What if he says... Maybe that's why he thinks he's place. waiting on four PS4s. He's sitting at his house in Italy okay. and they're all sitting in I've France. only got two here. Hang on. The other 14 are fucking in the storeroom in... <laughs> in fucking Lyon. My bad. Monsieur, we have your PS sunk. <laughs> Where'd you get sunk from? It's, sunk is five, isn't it? <laughs> Wait. I'm getting... I'm sorry. I've got... 
fucking five languages in my head. I'm so sorry. Wait, is it cut or sung? That's uh, 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 un, the deux, trois, trois, quatre, uh, cinq, uh, isn't it? As they say in France, uh, we move. I'm, I'm in the wrong language. The, I'm in the, the wrong French language. do not but, say we um, move. The French because, say, "Oh, I crashed into your car." Uh, oops. Oh well, <laughs> I move. Um, um, I say this because uh, during like there have been a bunch of formats with him where I've just been like, "That's really smart," and you definitely worked it. Like there are a lot of top tier players that I think are top tier uh, to themselves, and like they work on deck lists that they know and they play. In terms of helping me. It would be a case of like, here are these cool deck lists I've worked out. What do you think would be good? And I'd be like, oh, that one. I'll play that. I think there are a lot of top players that would be like, here's a list. Do well with it. And you're like, no, you do well with it because you're cracked. And it's a good list. But I'm not like that. Nah, I'm good. Yeah. Like, I ain't going to Poe and being like, Gary, give me a Sky Striker list. I'm going to do heaps well with it. Like, I don't fucking know. Also, and this is by no means a disparagement to Poe. Um, it's more a disparagement to the deck that he's been playing since it came out. His going his first place at Sky Striker list has gotten fifty four thousand views. Dees, dees. Why? Because people do. Do you actually genuinely? Because it's I have been messaged Sky Striker. But I've been messaged by three different people about that list and like what I think about that list. Why are you asking me? I, I know I played Sky Strikers to begin with. I I don't know. Um, don't like my opinion is terrible. Um, uh. Clip that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a good reaction. That's gonna be a very good reaction clip. Um, but people really like it because currently it is fairly budget, but also it tickles that thing in people's brains where they're like, "I'm the dickhead now, not you. I'm the dickhead now. Shut up. Stop playing the game. I'm the dickhead. Engage. Engage. Engage." I hate it. Yeah. I want that deck to die. Yeah. I it, wanted to just fuck off. They I was so trying. happy when Engage got banned. And now it's back. Yeah. And it'll stay back until they release the fucking women box. Yep. And then hopefully sometime after women box comes out, it'll be dead. It's crazy. Again, to, like, no disparagement to Poe. He's cracked with it. He's yeah. been playing it for ages. Good on Poe. But I just fucking hate that deck. Um, yeah. Um, I would probably... Well, I definitely wouldn't choose MBT. Love his content. He's a he terrible play player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we sideswipe him? What? It's just We're something that I've wanted to players, mention for a, a while. Okay. Um, love the man. Right, man's cop and strays. <laughs> what the fuck's that? He's never going to see it. Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on the podcast, Clip that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, by all means, prove me wrong. Fly out to Australia for a random event and we'll get you on. Yeah, thanks. Um, I would probably choose... Uh, I don't know his actual name, but let's say Distant Coda. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mainly because he's quite good with, like, rogue decks. Mm. Um, and plus, like, if you want a ruling, you go to him. Um, yeah, yeah, not the judges that don't know how Dragoon moves. No. <laughs> hmm? uh, I've been sitting here having decided. I think I was actually legitimately stuck on Lewis. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, so fair. That. He's accessible. That's so fair. I can just hit him up. And if yeah. Lewis is, like, focused on a deck, he will solve it. If he's focused on a game, he'll solve the game. Yeah. Exactly. So, so here's the thing that I was thinking of when this question came up. You hear a lot about like these top tier brain trusts who like mm. they go, okay, this is the deck of the format or this is the deck of the next YCS. We are going to test the shit out of this. We're all going to play the same list and we're all going to do well with it. Why have we never done that? Um, oh, it's it's I've, because... I've shadowed Lewis before. Yeah, so uh, you say this, we have done this in Pokemon since last Oceanics and it's the best thing we ever did. We should be doing but it you, more you're in this. You also kind of just friends with good players. Um, that uh, we're gonna go on a water that doesn't matter. Uh, we'll talk about it on a different podcast. That is because of a different environment in the games. I think Yu-Gi-Oh is very like I'm gonna do well. I'm gonna do my best to do well. And there are some small pockets of groups, but because. Pokemon players go fucking everywhere all the time. They go to every country. They go to every event because they get paid to do it. They just go Australia. This is a group. We're going to go and fuck them up. It just doesn't tend to happen that way. Basically. Yeah, like community, that community sort of thing doesn't exist in Yu-Gi-Oh. But we're all but in, in Yu-Gi-Oh, we all push each other. Like we all try and compete with each other in a generally healthy way like in, that's what we like to do in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh at least this is the way it is in Australia and it seems to kind of be like that overseas With the, overseas you see a lot of teams and stuff popping yeah. up and yeah. those teams do this where they brain trust stuff and those teams get sponsored yeah in <laughs> yes. Australia <laughs> more people you end up with more like 
sects. So you yeah. get like the Bowden boys. Yes. And then you get the Eastern Suburb boys. Yes. I want them and so then you much get... to call Right, can we call them the Bowden <laughs> boys? And then you get yeah. Team Po. Yes. And they, re- like, whenever those people interact, they refer to us as the Wollongong group. Yeah, yeah. But we don't collaborate. I think they, they all um, collaborate. We play completely they, different decks. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think it's okay. It is just that, like, it's a shared vision that's like, I think, for example, Lewis, I genuinely think he has a higher drive to do better in the game than almost anybody else here. And I, the reason I just go with that is because I would like to get to that. I don't think everybody at our locals, I think they want to do well, but I don't think their drive is that high. Whereas like Yahweh, Bowden, Poe, they're going to do well and that's what they want to do. Realistically, at the end of the day, we also all have a lot of shit opinions. Yeah. yeah. Like each but and we every be one of stamp, us around we here. We should stamp that out of each other. Yeah. That should be okay. We all have shit opinions and at the end of the day, we will always be like, no, I want to do this though. Yeah, like I know fair. I'm the worst for that in like, random ass fucking side deck cards or maybe main deck tech choices where I'm like I know this isn't gonna work as efficiently as other cards but it's gonna be funny <laughs> yeah it reminds me of this Top Gear um, meme that I saw ages ago and it's like um, they've got the two cars and Jeremy goes this is a brilliant car do not get me wrong this is a great car but I like this one I like <laughs> this one yeah, exactly that's, that's all yeah. that and I, and, I, and I do think that like that's fine I also if we were to get together and kind of do this thing, what works with that is, and it comes back to like, what if we're with Lewis or Kevin or something, I will be the person to be like, funny card, it would work. And at the very minimum, it makes both of them go, no, and here's why. Because they at least have to consider it for half a second and go, would this work? No, because the, of this matchup and this I matchup. Think the closest we ever got to having a brain trust in Wollongong was that Orcus YCS. Yeah, so where, all, yeah. yeah, we all decided we're playing Orcus. And the Bowden boys all decided we're playing Orcus. I, and they, they I'm only referring to them as Bowden boys now. Um, That's it. We're, we're done. They played Gaddis's list. So the Bowden boys played Gaddis's list. And we were all like, I'll let's play. I'll perpetuate this until the day I die there, and now the Bowden boys. Yep, it was, that's it. Was, so the Bowden boys and the Eastern <laughs> Suburbs kids all played Gaddis's list and we were all sitting here like let's play Orcus we refined our or- Orcus list they were working fine and then we all just decided to do the opposite things the night before the YCS that's classic I was still on Orcus but funnily enough I did better in the um, Attack of the Giant card with the yes. deck that I've been playing for three years yes oh, like, that's the other thing as we well we were all also on the wrong Orcus we weren't on the Gaddis yeah. list we were all still playing that like shitty 40 card go first list yes um, the other thing as well, and it doesn't exist in Pokemon, is that there's a finite amount of choices if you want to do well with Pokemon, for the most part. Like, you've said that yeah. like great players will pick up any deck and win, sure. But just within rotation, there's still only a finite amount of decks you can play. And if you're maybe not as skilled as someone else, there's only a finite amount of decks you can play, and they will carry you to the skill level that you need to be to win a thing. In Yu-Gi-Oh!, like, sure, there's meta decks, but at the end of the day, there's fucking 10,000 cards plus that you could possibly play. And yeah, that's because, interesting, right? Because like... Yu-Gi-Oh! is that game that, like, you play archetypes you like, mm. you might not like to play um, Despia Branded, even though it's the best deck. But, but that still comes chalks up to the, the, the idea of, I want to do well at this event. Yeah, like, but at the same time, like... I do see what you're saying, there though. Does... To find that optimal card pool, though, is that's a fucking huge pool of cards for everybody to sit down yeah. and be like... Yeah, and it's much easier to tech here? in Pokemon because, yeah. like, realistically, even if you're playing a super rogue matchup, there's only, again, a finite amount of, like, specific tech cards that they might have against you kind of thing. Whereas in Yu-Gi-Oh, you could verse someone who just fucking flips fucking some random-ass track Oh, they'll do rivalry. They'll do rivalry or they'll do Gozen and you will have not played against that thing in six years and they'll go ha 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 goes in yeah and, and then you have shit. to like go into your fucking mind yeah. palace and find oh how but, do I play around this shit to be fair there is that kind of stuff that does exist in like games like Pokemon where at the moment it's I played a mill tank are you playing it out oh I want consider it but I, but I will say people like, are aware of it like yeah. if you ended up versing a fucking weather painter deck would you have any clue what to do no yeah that's... But realistically, though, you you read that for myself. But, but like, I... <laughs> the twenty-page essay. I... 
<laughs> no, I, I agree with that to a point, but then I think Yu-Gi-Oh's power level is too high for that to ever matter too much. There, there I would never of... pay any of those 9,950 other cards attention because I know they won't be as fundamentally strong as what my deck is. Yes. I'll just blow through you in game two or three. If you if you bullshit me on game one because I haven't thought of something, I'm just going to blow through you the next two games. Yeah. yeah that's it. Um, but find a group of people um, storming like that, even if you don't end up on the same list, it's so healthy and it's so good to like make you better because having a band to be like, this side deck card, mm? and then you have to at least go over it, is just super helpful. My name recognition answer is Joshua Smith. Oh yeah, that's super fair. There you go. That's super Next fair. Question. Yeah. Cool. Um, I think we've got time for one more question yeah, tonight. Yeah. Um, we have a question from Rye Guy. Uh, what are your some uh, some Be of your favourite Yu-Gi-Oh censorships um, in terms of like card art or even anime? Because um, he mentioned, and this is something I wasn't one hundred percent aware of until he brought it up is that um, the Shadow Realm wasn't ever meant to really be the Shadow Realm, apparently. It was just a metaphor for you being dead. Yes. in It was Season Zero, right? They were talking yeah, yeah, about, the like, they just died. Yeah. But they were like, but that's the Beyond Realm that you go to when you are dead. Yes. Um, oh, I, I really like, it's a classic, and I know heaps of people know it, but I fucking love it when uh, they bust down to take Kaiba, and they're like... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Freeze, <laughs> freeze! Because <laughs> because I watched it as a kid, and then finding out the censorship of it didn't make me go, "Oh, that's funny." It made me go, "That's why I was so confused." I was like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, I remember being confused, no, but my, my brain being like, what? I, I was like, why did he go was, with them?" Yeah, I can't remember what the censorship is, but I had it pointed out to me, and I was like, "The fuck!" It's the episode where they. After they beat Mai and Mai becomes their friend, yeah. and one of them takes a shower, there's a censorship there that's like real oh. dumb. Oh, wait. wait. I can't remember. Uh, no, no, what no, no, the no, 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 no. I think I got you. Uh... Okay, so Blake's gonna look that up. Yeah, go, go. Um, I can't think of any immediately in the anime that like strike out to me. The Arcana um, Jewel with the band, like the saws at the ankles. Oh, like, oh yeah, the, the, the blades that slice that your ankle. Your ankle it will send you the Shadow Realm. I kind of like, Dark Magician. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, but like they never actually showed blades on it, right? It was no, always just like a, a dark... Yeah, it's a soul blade for us. Yeah, it's just a... It's a soul blade yes. for us, yeah. It's yes. an actual blade. Yeah, uh, see, it's like not under... Like, uh, hold on, I'll see if I can find oh, a Oh, so like she's just wearing effectively a boob tube. Is that yeah. what they're trying to... But, but like, there's like a towel there. It, I, it's so strange, but hold on. Yeah, there's something really weird about that scene. Um, uh, however, my favourite censorship is Don Zaluk. Bang bang. Don Don Zaluk. Bang bang. Yeah. Where he's like, check out these knives I'm holding. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rygar brought it up in his uh, original question, but mine's probably Baguska. That like the drunk. The yeah. Drunkard. He's like passed yeah. out drunk in um, the OCG, but here he's just very very tired. It's <laughs> the tired TP. So sad. So sad. So sad. Um, and mm-hmm. someone replied to that as well um, with the uh, original and censored uh, artwork of Token Sunday. Um, so in the um, in the uh, edited one, um, they're like Easter eggs and cakes and things that yeah, they're yeah. eating from. Yeah. In the original, they're just eating the actual goats. Oh, oh okay. They're oh, the eating hell? scapegoats. Nom nom nom. Yeah. Nom 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 nom. Interesting. It also looks like the roof's made of like, what is that? Oh, it's just leaves. No, it's one. just leaves. Just some trees. Just some just trees. trees. Uh, they put Indians. Str- <laughs> Blake's still trying to find the. No, no, so they put like straps. Like, she's fully clothed in the shower, essentially. Okay. Oh, but okay, she's got the towel it. there. They've got the towel yeah, there yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, so they put her in her clothes, but they didn't take the towel away. Yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> also, the other thing was uh, I just think, after I think there's that an audio scene, thing as well. Oh, they're very well might I be. think there's like a short scene where she's like calls me out for being a pervert and someone in the bushes yes because like, they're both like leering... on their hands and knees yeah like look try, try to look no in. no so there's like a leering from the bushes and in the uh, the Japanese version it actually like shows the leering from the bushes that's right after that scene too there's a weird like it gets rid of the bullets but not the guns okay. there's a card that yeah. they show just after that Cyber scene yeah that he has a, f- a huge gun but they got rid of the bullets that used chest. to be one of my favourite cards when I was young but it just didn't exist he can't shoot a gun without bullets true but he oh by the way they made him less ripped yeah. he's like he's like shredded here he's like shredded here not shredded here 
The Yu-Gi-Oh cards that make you gay. <laughs> yeah, yes. They take the Yu-Gi-Oh card and they make them gay. <laughs> Happy gay, Pride yeah. Month, everybody. <laughs> A gay. Is this airing before or after? This could air after Pride Month. Oh, well, I hope you all Yeah, because like ours go out... Friday, right? Yeah, they go out Friday. Sad. Yeah, it's alright. July. <laughs> Enjoy losing all of your rights because apparently that happens when we tick into July. Yep. Not here though, at least. For now. <laughs> that Welcome to the political part of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yep, war that... in the Middle East. How are we solving this? <laughs> so that is it. Uh, thank you very much. What about the socio-economic climate in Hong Kong? <laughs> what about freedoms in Nepal, Jake? <laughs>